Welcome to Moonshine Wednesdays. Welcome to Still Works in Bruin. Okay, so what do we got going on today? Well, today we have a recipe from a gentleman named Jason. It sounded like a pretty good recipe. It is cranberry jalapeno moonshine. This is starting for our fall stuff. We did some pumpkin pie, we did some apple pie. Now we gotta put some grandpa cranberry in there and I also do have a good recipe for just plain uh, cranberry moonshine that we're gonna do in a little bit not today all right so let's get started on making this cranberry jalapeno moonshine all right okay so the first thing we want to do is we got to have a pot all right and like I always say I'll put the ingredients down in the uh, description box. I don't think Jason will mind. I think he wants to put a good recipe out there to everybody. Um, hey, and like before, if you have your favorite recipe and you want to see it on Still Works and Brewing Moonshine Wednesday, please send it to me. And if I like it, we'll make it. All right. So in our pot, first thing we're going to need is, and what I did is I cut this recipe in half. So. We're gonna go with that, all right? So what I want is six quarts of uh, cranberry juice. I mean, this is gonna be a great holiday drink. So everything's gonna go in here, except for the alcohol. Which I don't know if it's all gonna fit in my pot. The other two quarts ain't gonna fit in there for right now, but we can get everything cooking. Okay, so what we need to do for this is we want one bag of your uh, fresh cranberries. And what you wanna do is we want to to simmer all this stuff until those cranberries bust open. But we gotta start warming up so we can put the rest of this stuff in. Let me get these out of the way. <laughs> all right, so we need a half a cup of brown sugar. <laughs> Somebody commented the other day about my measure. Well, <laughs> I like to measure heavy especially when it comes to uh, that quart jar over there. All right, half a cup of brown sugar. And a half a cup of regular old white sugar. This is gonna be good. white sugar. That's a one cup. All right. So what we want to do is we want to let them simmer until those uh, cranberries burst. All right. Uh, and we want two cups of water. cups of water. Okay. 
cranberries busted, all right? So let's add in our jalapenos. All right, hey, and that did taste. <laughs> all right, and then we want one teaspoon of vanilla. Half one. Okay, so what we gotta do next is we need to let this simmer like 15 minutes or so. Let them get some of them uh, good flavors out of them jalapenos. I don't think it's gonna taste too long. And then uh, after that, we will uh, move on to the next step, which will be, well, we gotta let it cool down. We gotta get rid of all the junk out of it and put, you know, cool down, put our shine in on. So we'll be back. This moved uh, the broken up cranberries and all that stuff. And I got me one quart of 100, 100 proof shine that I'm gonna add to this. I, I let it cool off. It's just room temperature now. So let's add some shine to it. Hopefully the pot will be big enough. Yes, it fit. All right. Give that just a little stir. All right, so what we wanna do is and I think what I'm gonna do, is there's still a little bit of stuff left in there. But just in case I get this some, I'm gonna use this little screen. Pour through. Just in case there's a little bit left down in there that I didn't get out. All right. So now it's just time to uh, put this stuff in a bottle. Pretty color, ain't it? To me, visual is always a plus. I'm glad I did put that screen there because uh, I am getting some stuff out of it. I'm looking forward to tasting this. Well, I have a oak tree over here and it's dropping acorns like crazy. <laughs> they hit the roof and make all kind of noise. Like I said before, this is a half a batch. description is uh, the recipe that uh, Jason gave me for and it's a whole batch so you can get some we'll get a few jar jars out of there And like I said before, if there's some um, moonshine recipes out there that you want to uh, share with everybody, please send them to me. And uh, we'll get them out there. So we got it all bottled up. Now it's time for a try. Had a little bit left over for a sample. I mean, I smell I smell the jalapenos, I smell the cranberries.
I mean, it's not overly sweet, which is very nice. You get a, a little of the tanginess from the uh, cranberries, but not overwhelming. Just, just a very little nice. It's very nice. Uh, it's not hot, but you do taste the jalapeno. You do taste it, but it's everything is blending together very well. I can't imagine what that tastes like ice cold. We're over ice. That is, wow. Hey Jason, thanks a lot. This is a great recipe. It's, it's, it's one that I'll do over again. I, like I say, it ain't gonna last very long. I got me, now this is half a recipe. And um, it's very good. I'll put it down in the description box like I always do. So if you were inclined to make it, it, you'd be pleased. I guess the last thing I got to say, well, I'm going to say two last things. Well, number one is Happy Moonshine Wednesday. And your thing is, hey, thanks for stopping by, and we'll see you next time here on Stillworks and Brewing. Cheers, everybody.